Okay, well, if, if white people were here longer than black people on earth, you know, then what I would ask you is why are you guys, I hope somebody's not calling me. I would ask you then why is, why are white people inferior in the genetic form of black people? Versus, for example, like darker skin, obviously uh, melanated people uh, aren't ex expo as exposed to UV rays and stuff. You guys burn in the sun, hence you get cancer. Um, you guys' bones are a lot uh, less dense. I think that's what they created homes for. You and have like, well, I think well, that's have, what I think that's recessive. what shelter is for. It's it's called a roof over your head. You know, we yeah, don't we, have to well, we don't we have, have to, to bake out to, in the sun. Forever. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, we understand that humans are the only ones that have to adapt to nature. You know what I'm saying? So, but what I'm trying to ask you is that. So you're admitting you, that even blacks are, have certain uh, deficiencies. Like what? Well, you just said humans have to adapt to nature. So no matter how superior you think blacks are in terms of, hey, they could, you know, their skin is darker, they could sit under the sun, you still admit that even as a human being, we have to adapt to our circumstances. You, you're not opposed to the idea of building a shelter over your head to block you from the sun just because you're black and your skin is more adaptive to sun rays. I mean... We're talking about we're talking about superiority in, as far as genetics with black and white, not nature and, and humans. Okay, so let's try to stay on point. Um, also, black black people, um, you have recessive eyes to black people, and you also have recessive hair to black people. Which green eyes and blue eyes is recessive to brown, brown uh, brown eyes and black hair. If you didn't know that, but um, oh wait, you got to elaborate on that because I've never heard that before, and uh, so I, you don't, so I don't know how that made any so sense. That, so you don't know that uh, white scientists have already proven that white people have recessive eyes green eyes and blue eyes are recessive to brown eyes okay and elaborate on that what, what do you mean by recessive to like what does that mean Me meaning meaning that you are inferior that your skin <laughs> ages a lot faster your well, skin what a, what a douchebag thing to say well, I'm trying to be serious. I'm being blunt. I'm just being honest. Like, okay, bro. Honest. This is hey, so let me ask you, man. Though that Conquer's Bad Fur Day game you love so much, I mean, that was uh -huh. created by white people. I mean, uh, are they inferior? <laughs> did you know that the uh, first? The, you can look this up. Did you know that? Here we go. The first, without the first black man, the black man that created uh, cartridges, he created cartridges for systems and stuff. Yes. So that Even if that's that. true, so, who cares? So, so black people. <laughs> so point. black people. So black people contribute to to everything that has been made. Yeah, and vice versa, dude, and vice versa. If if well, black well, people well, help make the talk video talk game, then white people help uh, make the game you play. I mean, well, let's be fair. Let's be it's fair. So Without racist. Well, let, well, let's be fair. Let's be fair. White people have colonized the whole entire world, and everywhere they have went, they have stolen inventions and they have taken things from other okay. people. Okay. And they and they they bit off it. So so um, you're gonna tell me you're here. You're trying to tell me that um, no, that we're, the, we're, the Barbary the Barbary um, you know uh, slave pirate trade that that never happened. The, there were never darker skinned people than white people enslaving white people. That did happen. Okay, so talking about this talking idea that only white people exploit people is just just total bullshit. No, it's 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 not that it's not just that. It's the fact that all white people, the majority of 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 everything that we're going to be talking about has to do with white people's history. Okay, you you want to say black people have enslaved whites and stuff? Yeah, you can name what a few, what a, a certain group. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking about white people throughout history. You got the Portuguese, you got the French, the Germans, the Russians. All of you guys have enslaved other people of color, including yourselves. So don't sit here and try to play the innocent role, okay? I didn't do anything. That was my ancestors. Like I said, you guys sit here and try to play yeah. the, the, the blame yeah. game. No, no, and, no, 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 no. There's no blame game. You're trying to blame me for some shit that my supposed European answers did. And let's, and let's did. Let, okay, so let's Ridiculous. Get, let's, 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 Clinging let's get to ancient history, dude. Clinging okay. to ancient history. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, all right. And then so you want to pin that. You want to pin that on people who live in the present. That is I want to ask you a question, shit. sir. I want to ask you a question. Uh, so, so what is this red pill that you have on your channel? Red pill? Yeah, what is this red pill that you sell? You mean the supplement? Yeah, the, the, the pill. It's L-theanine. Okay. You want to explain a little bit? It's extracted from green tea leaves. Oh, so in other words, you stole another invention and you pretty much made profit, profit off it. So green tea leaves is an invention. Well, what I'm saying is, is that you took somebody else's idea. <laughs> you took somebody else's idea that was already made, 
and then you you pretty much made profit off it. So correct? you're telling me capitalism is fundamentally theft? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm just, it, you want to yes or no? Okay, so ask the question again. What is red pill? And you've already answered the question. I asked you, are you making profit off somebody else's idea that they've already made? Um, yeah, but I think you monetize your videos, so you're making some money off something somebody else made as well. It's my original content. It's two different things. Uh, no, without the YouTube platform itself, you'd have no videos to upload to thousands without, of potential and viewers. Videos, and without videos, YouTube wouldn't be making any money. So what is your, how, what is, how is that an argument? How did what you just said was an argument? We're both making money off the inventions that other people have made. Duh. Okay. All right. Um, hey, where are you running? Hey, come on. You just no, no, no. That was a good point. You can't just backtrack from that. What, what, what was the good point? That you said that there's something somehow evil or wrong mm -hmm. about me profiting off what someone else invented when, again, as I just pointed out, you're on a platform you did not invent and you're making money off of it. There's no fucking difference, period. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's go with the red pill then. So let's what is move the red on. Pill? All right, so, cool. So, so, no, no, no. I said let's go with the red pill. So what does the red pill do for you? You're talking about the supplement the, or are you talking about the metaphor that is the no, red no, pill? No, no, no. I'm literally talking about the supplement. The thing okay, L-theanine. L-theanine is derived from green tea leaves. Now, according to some studies, now this could be placebo. It depends. Um, L-theanine increases alpha waves in the brain. Alpha waves are associated with meditation. People who are experienced meditators uh, have been able to demonstrate a capacity to increase the frequency of alpha brains in, uh, alpha waves in their brain. Supposedly, according to studies going back, I think, at least 20 years, L-theanine, which is derived from green tea leaves, which green tea leaves have been used by monks, Buddhist monks for thousands of years, um, the, the green tea leaves, the L-theanine, which is, ex, which, is a, which is an extractant from it, increases the amount of alpha waves in the brain within about 30 minutes, supposedly assuming it's not a placebo effect. Right. So, okay. Um, are you familiar with the, the, the gene variant called SARA? No, dude, I'm not as obsessed with genes as you are, man. Okay. Well, you do. Okay. So basically, what it does is it causes high depression, and it's mainly found in white people. So I'm assuming that whatever this pill is, it's to control your animal impulses, correct? Um, that made no sense. Well, I mean, well, white people are more prone to like shooting people in schools and theaters and shit like that. So if this pill that you take, you, you said it. Um, have you seen um crime rates in America among the black community? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. And you know, you know, I, you know, I'm not the one who wants to focus on skin color. I'm not the one who wants to focus on I don't race. Focus, no, I actually, you know, what's funny is that I don't focus on skin color. But uh, you did make a video called "Big Black Big Black Cocks Are Racist." <laughs> yes. No, I said yeah. "Big Black Cock Porn Is Racist." Yeah. Okay. Okay. Classic, classic video. Love it. Okay. All right. So, so in by one the way, of your... I'm curious. Do you have a big black cock? I, I, I really am curious. I just, I really want to know. Well, we're, you know, a real man doesn't expose his private parts on the internet or anything like that, but you know. <laughs> no, I'm not asking you to expose yourself. I, understand. I, I wonder understand. if it's a myth, though. I understand, I understand, but okay, so is it a myth that uh, the majority of uh, homosexuals and pedophiles and uh, bestiality is all practice, uh, is majority of it is uh, European? Uh, majority? I've heard there's a huge amount of incest um, in some African cultures, and I think in Kenya there's a huge some. incest problem. So, I mean, this idea, again, you want to pin it. White people are all incest. White people are all this. White people are everything. It's ridiculous. In Germany, you do know that they can actually, they have bestiality houses and they actually can get married to uh, animals and shit. Are you okay with that? Nah, bro, I've never heard of that. You, you, never, you never heard of it? Marrying animals in Germany. Yeah, well, they're, 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 they call them relationship partners or something like that. It's, it's like it, it's a it's a animal human relationship thing. There I don't was, know, man. It, it looks like it look, looks like humans all over the planet of all races are doing some funky ass shit. I'll agree with that. Um, Wait, but that includes you know dark skinned people, black people. That include that includes everyone. That includes everyone that's been infected by European uh, terrorism. But let's. Uh, mm hmm. So, okay. So I wanted to talk about skin color. Okay, so uh, let me break down my. Wait, wait, big black cock. You can't, you can't overlook that subject. What about it? 
Well, you brought it up a moment ago. It felt like you had a lot more to say. Well, you said something. You referred to somebody in a tweet about uh, skin color. You said that crime rate, it's not my fault that there's a correlation between crime and skin color. But yet you're the one talking about black people. So how again? Skin I... color does not necessarily mean genetics because cultural norms can become prominent among certain races in certain parts of the world. And cultural norms can define how people behave. It doesn't mean that there's an inherent, inherent genetic problem. The reason I make those tweets is because when Black Lives Matter on Twitter is saying that white people are the problem, unjustly going around killing people, I'm saying let's look at the number of crimes being committed, crime statistics committed in this country. And if we're going to talk about race and, you, and you're going to force a conversation about race, which the last thing I want to do is make it a conversation about race, but if you're going to force it about race and you're going to say white people are evil, uh -huh. then let's look at the crime statistics and let's say right now there is a major problem of, of violence within the black community in America. Now, what the hell is the cause of that? What is it? The Jews and the rap culture that they influence into? I don't know. We could speculate for years and all types of conspiracy theories. Okay, so you basically er earlier you were talking about a social uh, uh, social construct, right? Stereotypes based off of uh, skin color, that skin had white, black has nothing to do with uh, 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 genetics, biology. Is that what we were talking about earlier, right? Uh, I think. Well, that's what you were saying. Well, we were talking about the tweet, and you were saying that it, uh, the correlation between blacks and crime rate, you're saying that skin. Yeah, is sometimes like, bad ideas can infect right, groups of people. Exactly. So it's a social construct. So when we were talking about my video, Dear White People, right? You watched that video, you got offended by me calling people crackers, hunkies, white devils, etc. Et Let me tell you something, though. You don't want to know what offends me more. What? what Your opinion doesn't offend me as much as the fucking double standard where white people are not allowed uh -huh. to say anything, but then someone like you can be spewing such hateful generalizations. That's what bothers me the most you can say whatever so you, you want think, so you don't think white people on youtube right now have videos of bashing black people making black songs calling them niggers and saying that we want a race war and stuff like that did i did i say white people don't do that oh no but hold on but wait a minute you're calling <laughs> out black people you're calling out black people so we're so we have to do the double standard right that white people are still on youtube and there's videos still up and there are people that are liking these videos yeah, but the point is the point is that the idea that that white people, that black people can be racist, that is taboo. No one, no, everybody knows that white people can be racist, okay? The KKK stereotype, everybody knows there's a history of slavery behind white people in this country. Everybody knows that white people can be racist. But the idea that blacks in America can be racist, that is taboo, that is unheard of. And if you go on YouTube, as I have, I've seen, you know, there, there are still street preacher guys who are on the streets calling for beheading all crackers and beheading white people. So when I see that, that shit fucking disturbs me and I need to point it out. Not because white people aren't racist, but because there is this idea that blacks cannot be. And you know, it is kind of pathetic to say black people can't be racist. That's a, that's a meme that goes around a lot of day, a lot of time. Black people can't be racist. To me, that that infantilizes black people, bro. That 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 robs blacks of personal responsibility. Uh, to me, all right. No, I understand. So let me ask you this question. Um, so are you against uh, you know, white racism on on the internet as far as like them bashing blacks and stuff like that? Are you against that? Um, I think racism is stupid. I think okay. racism is for low consciousness, retarded people. Um, it's easy to cling to generalizations as opposed to seeing the nuance to life. Um, you can make sweeping fucking generalizations. White people are this and black people are that. And to me, that is a low consciousness state of mind. That is dim consciousness where you want to just say black people are evil. White people are evil. That way you don't have to think about the nuance that some white people aren't evil and some black people aren't evil, some white people aren't KKK members, etc. So I think racism is fucking retarded. I think it's a goddamn shame that that we let stereotypes like these uh, 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 ruin the potential that exists 
to see people for who they are on an individual case by case basis, uh, as opposed to being enslaved by these fucking generalizations. Well, with the, such a strong statement, I I do appreciate the fact that you are against racism. But let me just point out this. You see, white people teach that they are the father of medicine, the father of philosophy, the father of music, the father of, of history. I think that is a very ethnocentric, racist sort of mind view. So let me put this in there. You go to church, you wear white to weddings, you wear black to funerals. They call angels food cake white, devil's food cake black. If I want to play a game of pool, you got a white shiny ball knocking the hell out of all the color balls on the table, and the worst ball is the black ball. So how do you explain those? subliminal messages as far as uh, seeing black as uh, represented as evil and wicked and white as pure and light and beautiful? Oh, that's a good question. I actually thought about that before. For many years, I've actually thought about that. Even before I really started to think politically too much, it, it always struck me like, why is, you know, like the dark side in Star Wars, why is the dark side the evil side? Um, why in the Lord of the Rings, the evil Dark Lord Sauron, why is the Dark Lord evil while Gandalf the White is the good guy? I, I always wondered that, and here's my theory on why that is. Um, I think it's because when you turn the lights off in your house, it's pitch fucking black. And when it's pitch black, you can't see anything. When you can't see anything, you don't know what's there. And if you don't know what's there, you're vulnerable, you could be scared. That's the only explanation I have for that. That, okay, is it racism? Is it ethnocentrism? Maybe. But the best theory I can come up with is that darkness is just naturally, because of the fucking physics of the universe, is associated with that which we cannot see, that which we cannot know. And some people have said that all fear is ultimately a fear of the unknown. So there's my, there's my theory. Okay, well, let me just uh, let me go back around the, 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 the universal theory thing. Um, if you look out into the sky, right, and uh, it's, it's daylight, obviously, there's the sun out, you know, it's, it's blue. All right, you look out there, you see nothing, correct? When it's light outside, it's nothing. You see nothing, correct? <sighs> when I step outside of my house and I look up, so like, when, just when, have... when, there's, when, when the sun, when, when it's morning out, when it's daytime, you don't, you know, you just see a blue sky. You, you can't see the stars, etc. right? Sure, sure. Okay. So when it's dark outside, when it's dark and the stars are out and everything is all melanated in black, do, do, do white people, do anybody look outside and say, oh my God, I can't see past that. I don't, I, I'm in fear. I don't, what's out there? Like, or are you more? Well, first of all, dude, I mean, melanated, you just called the night sky melanated. That's definitely it's not dark. the right term. It's dark, but isn't melanated a skin pigmentation description? Well... Well, what would you consider the what would you consider the nice guy then? The the reason I'm I'm going after you on that word is because you seem you're attributing black skin again to the sky, and I feel like that's sucking right back into the black supremacist well, because, ideology well, that you're pushing. Well, because by the way, black, I'm curious: do you push black supremacy? Like, is that what you push? I'm, we don't have we don't we don't we don't carry a, a black supremacist sort of mindset. We what what black people who are liberated who have a knowledge of self do is. We fight white supremacy head on. That's what we do. So the fact that you think that I'm a black supremacist and I'm racist, you know what I'm saying? First of all, black people can never be racist. Oh, can man. never be racist. <laughs> and we'll, and look, I and hate I'll be that. Honest with you. I hate that. And, and I'll be honest with you. I, I, I know you hate that. But going back to what you said earlier, remind me again that you, your theory was that uh, uh, white people see that whatever you can't see in the dark. That that's why they fear it, right? Yeah, that's just a theory. Yeah, sure. Okay, so. I mean, truth be told, I, I don't, that, that's not really, that doesn't explain anything as far as like, you know, why people fear dark and why people, you know, why people love light. What I think it is, is it's, it's a psychological thing. So for example, you hope it is. No, 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 no. Think about it. White people have painted, Michelangelo painted, was told to paint Jesus in a European like model, correct? Um, I'm not aware of this history, dude. If you okay. say if you say it's okay. true, then I'll take I'll take so, your, I'll take I mean, your word for it. I'll take your word okay, for it. Okay, educating you, but at, at the same time, I hope you have an open mind about it. Okay, oh, I so, have a very open mind. Okay, so white, so Jesus came from the Middle East, correct? Hey, I agree with you. He probably was dark skinned 
Okay. He, he, well, first of all, he had to have been dark skinned because in the Bible it says he has hair like wool and yes. bronze skin, which is yes. nappy hair and black skin. So yes. let's go ahead and talk about the contradiction, white Jesus. Again, how sir. they have a You're pale assuming skin. Assuming the Bible is uh, is accurate. Is, That's a you, major can, leap, can my you, friend. You, major listen, leap. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Can you can you just listen real quick? Okay. Sure. The fact that the fact that there is a white Jesus, blonde hair, blue eye, pale skin, right? How has that affected all the people in America, including black people? Psychologically, that has told us that obviously anything white skin is is good because we paint a picture of Jesus in a white form, a light form. Therefore, anything white. Why do you have brown hair? Why do you have brown hair and a, and a black beard? You could have given them white hair and a white and blonde hair. I mean, come because on. Because afterwards, because afterwards, people have debunked the the whole Jesus was white thing. The clan, the clansmen, uh, uh, everyone thought that Jesus was, they wanted Jesus to be white. But the fact that in the contradiction, uh, it's a contradiction to the uh, Jesus in the Bible. They changed it to a, a buttermilk complexion, uh, brunette hair, European. But it's still, it's it's still not a black man. So my point is, is that if we're going to talk about being scared of something it's a psychological thing you know that there was a test study done in 2005 where there was a, a a female that took dolls she had a black doll and a white doll are you familiar with this test no okay so she took a white doll and a black doll went to some children black kids she asked them what doll do you look what doll do you think looks uh looks beautiful they pointed at the white doll and then they said how come you didn't point at the black doll they said, because the doll is ugly. And then she said, point at the doll that you look like. And you know what the little girl did? She took her hand and she pointed at herself and she closed her hand up because she was so psychologically damaged by the fact that racism and 400 years of being in this country has affected all people, not just black, but all people. Okay. So going back to my dear white people video, I already Wait, broke. Can, can, I, can I say something though? Go ahead. Before we get too far off that. Um, okay. Now, you're not opposed to a society in some ideal future, if you ever have your way, where everything is, I don't know what the right term is, I guess Afrocentric. Um, you, you said that we live in an Eurocentric society here in America. Um, but you would want an Afrocentric society, right? Let me be clear on one thing. We do live in a Eurocentric society. Let's uh, let's look at the fact that black women walk around with weave in their hair. Can, yep. you, can you agree, right? Oh, and, yes, and, I know. And they, and they blonde the shit out of it. I think it's so tragic. And it is tragic because they're destroying their what? Afro-like hair. Yep. Okay, so they walk around with blue-eyed contacts. The fact that... Did you even know that the number one product in Africa right now is bleach cream? Did you know that? No, sir. Okay, so the fact that you're going to tell me that racism um, uh, uh, from white people is less prevalent to... But well, wait racism. a minute. How is that racism? What? Okay, it could be racism, but what is it also possible that maybe it's just that whites um, have more power and they... Well, let's see. Maybe you know more about population okay, numbers. About maybe you know about more... Wait, maybe let's you know more about population numbers than I do. Are there... Are there more white? Are there more whites, or are there more blacks in, in on, on the planet? I, I don't know what the numbers are. There, there is seventeen to nineteen percent white people on the planet. Okay. Okay. Now, now they are the least people on the planet, but the majority of people on the planet are black people, obviously, because anyone of dark color is considered black by your definition, especially the one drop rule. You remember that rule? No. Okay, so white people in America said that if you have one drop of black blood in you. Even as a white person, you are still considered black. They do not accept you because you want to know why? See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's a social construct. White people adopted that term, uh, 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 I believe in the, I, I can't remember the century, but white people adopted that term from the Euro term. They're, they're considered Caucasian European. Nobody came from a country called white. So why did they adopt that term? Because that term is considered the, uh, 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 that's an Islamic term. In, uh, is, in, in Islam, uh, white means peace and purity. Okay, so when you see people in church uh, wearing white, you know what I'm saying? It means peace and pure, it means purify. 
It means to purify the soul. So when you see Baptists, uh, you know, dunking people with white robes and shit, that's just purification. It's, it's rebirth of the soul. So white people have adopted that as a, a taking that role. But the true identity of a European's history, it, it can't matter. It, there's no way you can be somebody so innocent and beautiful and highly intelligent when your your history is barbaric. And, and you were civilized by those who you oppressed. But wait a minute, how, how could you say that Islam was the one setting the definitions for those terms that associate white with peace and purity? I mean, if you're gonna because, blame the because, white guy, but because, Muslims because, are not white, so, so what's ask, their so, excuse? So let, me ask, so, let me ask you, so let me ask you what religion came first. Did Christianity come first or did Muslim uh, the, what was there? A, what was what, which religion came from? Yeah, Islam. Sorry about that. Uh, did Islam right. come first, or, or was there Christianity? Um, I'm not a religious scholar, but I would say Islam. Islam came first. Okay, so in the it, it, so when they in the Hebrew scriptures, all right. When first of all, Jesus wasn't even his real name. His name was like it started. It, it was like Yeshua or something like that. But uh, uh, Spaniards took that name Jesus, you know, and they ran with that. And then, like I said, over time. Uh, they started making the uh, the King James Bible version, um, the the New Testament, and and stuff like that. So they they pretty much you know uh, uh, reworded everything. I under, I I do get and I agree with the fact that the the Bible has been written by men to uh, program people and enslave them, uh, you, you know, mentally and all that shit. I I get all that stuff. But what I'm trying to tell you is that white people they identify their race as being peace and purified. But you do the same. But let me. But hold on. Wait a minute. So, so you're telling me that black people, by nature, are not good people? When in the fuck did I ever say that? Because you're. Ch because first of all, you go on your channel. You call Jada Pinkett Smith a racist. You call uh, uh, Mayweather a racist. Oh you yeah. You call Will Smith a racist. I mean, that's that's like, the like, only conclusion. Black Lives Matter movement. Nothing but racism. Uh, uh, attacking whites. Uh, not so, nothing but racism, but, but largely racism. Not nothing but largely, racism, but a lot. Did you just of, say largely racism? Yeah, I mean that's the only conclusion I so can come to. There's so much all, hatred of white people, um, and and, dude, and you know what? It's because there are racists on all sides. Um, there but, is no such thing as reverse racism. Let me explain something to you. No, Let me explain you want to, you. to absolve yourself me, of personal responsibility. This, that is not an empowered position to take, sir. That is a weak you, position. Sir, if the sir, if the slave, if the slave grabs the whip from the slave master right. and he takes the whip from the slave Listen, master, you're, and you're then begins whipping the slave master, is that reverse slavery? Is you're that reverse slavery? You're conflating. Is that reverse slavery? That's an act of self defense. Exactly. But so, you're assuming that so, everything. So you're assuming that everything that a black person in America does is 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 so by how default can race, an act can, of self defense. So race born That's into madness. a world of racism and hatred there already are, existed. There are some black people in America with more privilege than I have, with more family background, more how wealth race, accumulated. How can a race born into a world where racism and hatred already existed by white people? It already existed by blacks and by Muslims and by Asians. There's racism, racism everywhere. Racism was created by white people. Oh, you're going to have to get me some proof of that shit. Do you want to go? Okay, what, okay what about tribalistic okay, warfare? What about, about tribalistic minute, warfare minute, in Africa? About a guy, red pill, that doesn't even know about fucking history, and you're gonna tell me? Do that you know? Do you know? With fucking white people? Do you know let everything? Do you know everything? Do you know everything? Just because I call myself red pill does not mean a fool to believe that I am a racist person. Okay, and I'll even break down the word racist. Let's break it down for a minute. No, let me break it down for you. Why? You don't. Because you're it's insane. Your, your no, I am not. No, I am not, sir. No, because listen, listen. You're not gonna sit here and try to punk me. Listen, no, 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 no. You want, you want to us? No, 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 no. You see, you're, you're, you're coming from. A, all right, go ahead. I'm gonna let you go ahead because I'm such a nice guy. I'm such a nice guy. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, because I'm so nice. The word racist, and if you don't believe me, you have the audio, so everything that I'm saying, you can debunk later on when you upload the shit. The word racist, when you take that word, all right, ist, I-S-T, is a suffix. It's Oh, actually, I heard you say this once. Go ahead. I have a refutation right. for it. Right, right. So when one is proficient in the violin, <laughs> one is a violinist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When one is proficient in, in science. Science. Scientist. I know it, bro. When one loves his race. One How are you proficient? Racist. How are you proficient in being one a racist? One is a racist. Your whole How etymology is flawed. Very, 
Your whole etymology is flawed. How can you be proficient in a race? Your, your etymology is flawed. Negative in a, doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but whites have shown otherwise. So you're going to tell your me that etymology is flawed. We're going to have to thought, we have to fix the etymology before we go you're forward. Going to tell me, wait a minute. You're going to tell me that black people who were born into a racist world full of hatred because of their skin. Wait, 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 wait. If white people came after black people, how were they born in a racist world? They weren't born in because wait a minute you can't you cannot compare uh uh any type of slavery or servitude or or indenturement from black folks okay you're talking about you're talking about a white people you're talking about american blacks you're talking about american no 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 blacks. We're talking no 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 first of all chattel slavery was all over the fucking world dude what are you talking about before there was even in america what, what are you uh, talking about dude i'm t i'm asking you why do you think that blacks in in terms of when it began in terms of if you're going to suggest that blacks came first, how can you say they were born into slavery if they were the original man? That's what that's my question for you. I didn't say they were born into slavery if they were the original man. I said that the fact that you think racism started with us. I never said that. I, I never said that. Okay, so the fact that I said that racism Jesus. started with you guys, how can how can black Jesus. people be racist when you guys created racism? I okay, well I I got to say it again. I never said that racism started with blacks. I, I, but I think because so, so I think what is your argument? So what is your argument as far as the fact that you think black people can be racist? But I told you that if you are the creator because of, of something, how th that's ironic, like that you call here's black why. people racist. Here's why, dude. Here's why, dude. Here's why. Because, because the, the just the, the rationalization for the idea that black people can't can't be racist is because blacks do not have privilege and power, right? Right. The truth is that there are. A lot of blacks in America and around the world who have a lot more privilege and power than I have. So let me here's just a hypothetical question. Maybe you can answer it for me. Mm -hmm. if, if if a black person with more privilege and power than I have were to go up to me on the street and punch me in the face because he hates white people, is that an act of racism towards me? So because he hates white people, so are we, let, let's, let's be a little bit more specific. Is this uh, post-slavery or does slavery not exist or does, you know. Let's, what, say, what you... let's say modern times, modern day. Okay. Then no, he's not racist. Okay. Oh. He's not racist. And, and like you said, when you rob somebody of a knowledge of self, we cannot be racist because racism, like you said, prejudice plus power. Nothing I say in the world will impact you on your job politics, economics, or society. We don't have the power to do any of that. So therefore, we, we can't be racist. We don't have. So you're talking about collectively. You're saying that blacks collectively have no power to Even change the... We cannot be racist. Only in the positive way to love our own race, but not in the form of superiority where we want to rule over everyone else. And that's white people. So there, that's why we don't need to... Uh, 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 we need to discuss this black versus white thing and the history of America so we can not only move forward but but we won't have to feel the amnesia effects in the later generations because you know what the next thing is going to happen in 10 years you're going to have the same little kid saying that slavery's over get over it you know what I'm saying shit like that but it, I, I find it funny that you guys want to tell me to get over fucking slavery but you motherfuckers can't get over the July the 4th Independence Day the revolution didn't that shit wasn't that shit uh, way before fucking uh, slavery I mean, what, what, before slavery ended. So you guys are going to celebrate. Uh, can uh, can, a, can, a can you stop holiday. lumping me in with the average American? Uh, OK, but you're telling me that I, I'm Cuban, oh, bro. Wait a minute. You're telling me I'm you're Cuban. telling me. my culture is Cuban. It's not fucking Fourth of July. It I barely matter. celebrate you that are shit. European descent. You you have privilege anywhere you go. If I get stopped by a fucking cop for frisk, right? How did white people? How did white people become more privileged than the original man? Explain that to me. Well, because for one, they've oppressed everyone. They went all, they colonized the whole goddamn world. The whole so world. the offspring of blacks, these cave beasts, as you call them, the offspring of blacks, these cave beasts, are now oppressing the, the original. They are the illegitimate bastards. And they're now man. oppressing the original man. They are the Ill First of all, well, we can talk about Yakub. You, you don't know about the story of Yakub, do you? I think I've heard that term. I've heard okay. about the cave beast. I've heard about the Edomites and okay, all that. The Edomites <laughs> and stuff. Okay, so Yakub is a story where uh, a mad scientist from Africa took uh, Africans and they were uh, nav they were navigating all over the world. But what he was doing was he was producing a color. He was pr trying to produce and, and uh, perfect a lighter skin color. 
And each time he was successful, he would throw over the darker babies overboard. All right. So to the point where he, he was had. Black? Al- yes, he was black. So he had albinos. He had albino Africans. Albino Africans are where you guys come from. And and like I said, research the shit. If I'm making this shit up, research it. It's already been proven by scholars. Even but wait, white people. If, if we. Oh, wait, I think I've heard that. I've I've heard that YouTube video before, but but here here quick question though about the albinos. Albinos are a lot different though because like albino albinos are the are original black people. They are original black people. All they because they, for for one, I'm a dark skinned man. If I were to if I were to mate with a, a dark skinned woman and produce an albino baby, that baby by white people would not be considered white. You want to know why? Because again, they don't like the fact that everything comes from a black man. If civilization came from white people, here's how I debunk this from anybody that proves otherwise. Civilization came from white people. Then how come you cannot produce a dark skinned baby, but I can produce a white baby? Well, when, oh, I thought you meant interracial or mixed babies. No, you're talking no. about blacks producing I'm an about albino. Blacks with blacks. No, no, I'm talking about dark skinned people producing brown people, red people, yellow people, and white people. Brown people, Mexicans cannot produce black people. Uh, na- natives cannot produce black people. Asians cannot produce black people. And here we are producing everyone. Chinese have linked themselves with DNA tests confirming that they come from Africa. You, They don't even show you dark parts in in China where there are dark-skinned uh, Chinese. You know what I'm saying? They don't even show you um, uh, uh, the natives, the, the true natives, the dark-skinned natives that were here first. And then they try to tell you that black people uh, have uh, Cherokee. Uh, uh, I know you hear this a lot when black people say, oh, you know, I, I have native uh, native in me, too. I'm, I'm Cherokee and this and that. No, you ain't Cherokee. When the slave master had slaves, they gave permission to the natives to hold uh, some slaves for for uh, for uh, for uh, not plantations, but pretty much to give them uh, the ability to to hold a certain segment. So, you know how there were the plantations of the Smiths. The, the Washington plantation and shit like that. And that's where, you know, black people started to get their names and shit. Well, with natives, uh, they had the Cherokee clan. The Cherokees had the majority of slaves. Therefore, black people started to become, or they, they were, they were uh, called Cherokees, uh, 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 you know, put into their whole little fucking group or whatever. But black people were so, they're so fucking misconfused with the whole DNA thing and, and historical facts because you want to know why? White people teach it. If you go to a school, the majority of teachers are 90% female teachers. They're white. But you know what they do? When black kids can't sit down in school, they say, oh, they have a, a ADHD disorder. A disorder. So they give them, a, 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 they prescribe them pills to make them sit down. Schools were started by the churches because churches, you know, eight hours you started by the churches and stuff. Now that the fact that uh, 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 black males or, or uh, Latino males, uh, 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 what's the what's the program, the special ed program called? Is it is it special ed? Is that what it's called for uh, mentally disabled, uh, mentally challenged uh, kids? Well, it, there, there's ESOL. There's ESOL for- No, 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 but it's, it's special ed, right? Special ed is the program for uh, high school and-, sure. and, and yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, so so these special ed programs have been uh, pushed into the uh, low poverty schools, um, and uh, mainly in the black and uh, lat- Latino communities and stuff. You get a few poor whites, but you don't, you know, not not really affecting whites at all. So they pushed all these programs into the black schools, into the Latino schools and stuff. You got all these kids on ADHD, Ritalin, and and, and prescribed pills when it's going to affect them in the long run. You know, uh, uh, affect them. You know, it's going to affect them. But uh, my point is, is that you have white female teachers. That are prescribing the, uh, you know, and 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 the therap- therapist can only give a uh, um, opinion as far as to whether the child needs these pills or not, or if, or if they're uh, disordered, or uh, you know, diagnose them with a disorder or whatever. So when we talk about racism and, and discrimination and stuff and the miseducation, white people are truly miseducated in this country, and the fact that you guys want to push these. Uh, topics away and shit. It's just fucking it, dude. This is why blacks and whites will not get along because when we see it, you guys see it differently. It's just you just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? You just don't get it. There are some white people that do get it. You know, there are there are uh, uh, white anti white activists like Tim Wise that get it. You know what I'm saying? And hey, is he and, cooning? No, he no no no. He you, well, you can't call a white man a coon. You uh, only call a black man a coon. Like black Stephen people can't be racist. White people can't be coons. Okay, man. Double standards everywhere. But all right. Yeah, you, you, okay, so okay, so let's break down the the history of a coon. You do know what a coon is, right? Um, no, you it, don't. It's a so guy you, it's who a, sold. It's a guy who sold out his own people to serve uh, the white man, basically. 
No, that's a Uncle Tom. A coon is it was like blackface, black paint. When white people would dress up like a uh, uh, black, I mean, white people would dress up in plays and paint their f uh, faces black and call themselves coons and make fun of black people with big lips. So how and do you explain the exception to the rule? Explain. Well, there's just thousands, millions of black people who who reject your ideology, who who prefer. I mean, there's. Okay. There's wealthy rappers well, and, and there's wealthy who push music that you probably would say is destructive. You know, a lot of black is, rappers it will is, it's pose garbage. with it's white garbage. women. And I, don't, I don't, and I don't listen uh, to this shit. Big I don't black cock porn, a lot of black men banging white girls. I mean, okay, you probably so, think that's so wait a betrayal. A you're, you're talking about a category that is not even fucking on, on the highest uh, top top rated categories. No, First dude, of all, but it's not just porn. There, there are black people everywhere who don't. But you want to talk about porn? Ideology. You want to talk about porn? The majority of, of porn that is uh, seen the top five categories is is uh, teen porn, uh, home uh, homosexuality porn. Uh, 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 bestiality? No, 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 not bestiality, but lesbian porn. Um, uh, and then there's a uh, uh, gangbang, and then uh, what's the other one? It's uh, it's uh, it's a uh, what, what do you tie people bondage and shit? That's what it is. Those are the top fives. But you, like I said, dude, you you come up with these. God, it's just like I can just tell like what, you counter have arguments. No, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no, you have fucking animosity towards black people. No, I don't. I genuinely see it's the shit. No, first of all, first let, let, let me explain something to you, dude. When the there dudes. are black conservatives who think that what you're spewing is just racist bullshit, I mean, what what's, first of all, what's wrong with let, those guys? Let, well, let me explain. Let me explain. The the black people that are so called conservatives that work for the white people and stuff. They have to cater to white people's views, white people's ideology, and and, and shit like that. So again, so, pure victim mentality. So, pure so victim look, mentality. So hold on. To, in order to get along, dude, the, country, there are blacks in this country who are very rich and successful, yes. and they do not adopt this collectivistic yes. mindset. Let me explain. They have an individualistic mindset. Okay, you're talking about the Oprah Winfrey's, the 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 Michael Jordans, and and the the. You know, Arsenio Hall's. Dude, like there's that. a billion of them. There's there's so many of them. There's there's a billion there's a billion billionaires. Okay. Billion I, I didn't mean Oprah's. I'm talking about just overall people who are individualistically there, minded. There are a billion are successful. Because, no, no, no. Listen. To I me. didn't. I did not say when I said there were a billion of them. I didn't just mean billion Oprah. So we are I talking meant, about the Oprah Winfrey's, the Arsenio Halls, these conservatives and stuff. People that are in uh, politics. People that have higher position I'm of power. I'm talking than about black people with individualistic mindsets who do, who are happy and successful in their lives and do not collectively. Dude, you are talking about people with. Careers that are seen in the eyes of white people. So let me explain something. White people, in order to get along in this country, is you have to think like a white man, talk like a white man, and be a white man. No, you Even don't. You're black. No, you don't. What, what is, is white? white? Explain to me what white behavior is exclusively. What white behavior is what talking, talking just no, normally. No, 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 I don't understand. No, 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 no. Well, first of all, if we want to talk about talk, you, you do know that we came to this country with 17 dialects, right? African dialects, and we only fucking speak one, and that is a foreign language. And all that has taught us is killing, raping, and 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 yeah. So we're speaking English right now, and you're trying to tell you me that we don't care. You already acknowledge that there have been victims of slavery of every race throughout history. Yeah, so white, should white, those white. people, should white people who were victim of the Barbie slave trade, should they be clinging to the past right. and waging vendetta against the people you know, who enslaved them? You know of the story of uh, Toussaint Lavatour. Nah, man. Okay, Toussaint Lavatour was a great revolutionary that uh, set uh, that took a whole bunch of slaves on the the island of Haiti. Okay, he defeated the French army, the British army, the the Spaniards, everyone. What century? Uh, this was, uh, I, I believe, in more the, or less. Uh, would you say? More or less. When was it this? Was, it was like right 1600s or something like that and stuff. It it, it was it was uh, yeah somewhere around there. But my point is is that after they were all defeated, right? They set up a a, a camp, you know, of, of of slaves, black slaves that formed an alliance on that uh, uh, island. Now, fast forward, the French said, you know what? Uh, there were, uh, you know, th these were the old days and stuff. Let's let's meet and let's come up with some kind of agreement and see what we can do. Now, as you claim, not all white people are bad. Tucson Lovatour felt that, you know, there's just a few bad apples and shit, and and, and it's there's nothing bad wrong with that. So he went to France, met with their fucking people. They locked him in the deepest, darkest uh, dungeon, starved that man, and destroyed that revolution. And then they took that island to Haiti. 
So when you tell me that um, our, our founding fathers, you know, are heroes, right? Because this is what they spew to fucking kids. Oh, I never and, said and they were heroes. Not you, not you speaking rhetorically about white people. When white people think that our founding fathers are heroes, George Washington, he was a fucking terrorist. The British had 15,000 pounds on his fucking head. He was. Then we talk about Christopher Columbus, but yet we celebrate Thanksgiving Day. And that day was the day that natives were slaughtered. And they, he were chopping hands off because they were digging up gold and shit. But you guys want to talk about how black people, you know, they look up, look at them, got their grills in their mouth and their, their chains and shit. Well, to be fair, uh, back in the again, back in you're Africa, lumping me in with the you category. Okay, the, the okay, you white, generalization. White, white people, white people. Okay, so in Africa, when and they even came, then, that's just a generalization. It's not all white people. So how come the United King, how come people- You could at least make the nuance and say most, if you're gonna, if, cause you know it ain't all, but if you wanna say most and at least say most. It is, it, it is white people. And I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you why. It's a social construct. Again, we keep going around this whole white black thing. <clears throat> I am an African that lives in America, all right? I am not American. I am an African that is in America. And if you identify yourself as white, that is your fault. But yet you claim you're Cuban. So which one are you? Are you a Cuban or are you a white man? Because again, social well, constructs- Well, I never told you that being Cuban disqualified, disqualified me from being white. I said that I'm what I am Cuban. Saying is, what, what I am saying is, and a lot of white people ask me is, do you hate all white people or just those who are evil? When I tell people this, I said, I have nothing against Europeans or Caucasian people who do not identify as being white because being white in this country is a white supremacist, uh, those who hate and discriminate against people of color and are racist, okay? They only believe that those with white skin are, are the superior race, like the, the Germans, when Adolf Hitler was con uh, considered a white devil. Do you know what the term white devil means? Not, pr not precisely. No, you don't. Okay, so the Jews, if you go to any pr uh, 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 respecting Jew today, they will tell you Adolf Hitler was a fucking devil. When you break the term down, devil means dehumanize. Those who dehumanize people, white people have dehumanized their own kind. And yet you guys want to talk about slavery and get over it. But yet, how come you're not going to the Jews and telling them to get over it? So oh, let me you ask you. Let me so ask you. You don't want to be seen as an anti semite huh? Okay. So yeah, you wait, wait, wait. You're talking about. But you want to tell you're saying you're Holocaust. saying you again. Um, but okay, I'll I'll, ex I'll you're accept. Attacking, you're attacking black people. First of all, you have two fucking videos of me. The first video, you called me a fucking racist, and I explained to you what it means to be a racist and how I was born into a world in the '90s yes. of racism. The fact that I watch cops and the majority of those fucking criminals are fucking but black. But you know what the difference between you and I is? Is that you see things as collections, and I see things as individuals. I I believe in an individualistic no, mentality. No, sir, I don't. No, sir, I I'm don't. not gonna lump everybody into a giant fucking generalized category to make my life easier when I think about reality. I mean, okay. I'm, not, I'm not going to just say that blacks are superior, that whites are superior. I'm not going to engage in those fucking sweeping generalizations. That is, okay, that is destructive. Great. That is destructive. That is destructive to human relations. It doesn't help anybody. So I have a, I the, have the a fact that you push this is not, is not helping anything. Okay, so I have a question for you. So uh, do you know of you know the Kerner Commission? No, you don't. Okay. Kerner so Commission? The Kerner Commission, the Kerner Commission that was organized by President Lyndon Vane Johnson, okay? Dude. Okay. But you're, again, you're going over the, the atrocities committed by white people, but you've already acknowledged that That's people of all races throughout if history. If you, if you actually pay attention, it was actually a study done in America. Okay, but five minutes ago, you were just citing all the evil things that white people do. We've already established that people of all races have done fucked up shit to what all is the races. Worst thing, what, is, what is the worst thing going on in America right now? What is, what is the number one problem in America that, that America faces? Um, probably right. a potential race war. Okay. So if you would have let me fucking finish, then I would explain what I was trying to say. The Kerner Commission was organized by President Lyndon Vane Johnson to go around America to do a study to see what's the real problems in America. And recently they came with conclusive evidence that racism is more prevalent today than it was yesterday. And then... Ten years, uh, uh, a couple of years ago, they re they 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 redid a, uh, another analysis and it proved that it got worse. So yeah. my point and is, and you want to know why it's getting worse, bro? It's getting worse it, because it's getting of mentalities, worse. mentalities that are based on making generalizations about people, clinging to the fucking past.
clinging to the past, whether it's white people. Look, white people could cling to the past too. They could say that there was a Barbary slave trade and they could fucking, you know, be pissed off. I'm not trying to take away from, you know, the suffering of your let ancestors, man. Let me ask you something. So, so yeah. the Jews, the fact that everybody feels bad for the Jews, that we learned about the Jews in high school. But what history do you learn about Africans in, in uh, uh, middle uh, middle school or high school? What history besides the well, fact that we were enslaved? Well, who do you blame for that? I mean, some say the Jews have a shit ton of power and wealth. And oh, they... so now we're gonna so now we're gonna blame the Jews. So we can't blame white people that that are in the government. We can't blame. White no, people. my no, my point is, if you're gonna start pointing fingers and say they're responsible, why wouldn't you do that to the Jews and just say it's for white people? Unless you think white people and Jews are the fucking same. Okay. First of all, by the way, Jews don't think this exactly. Exactly. They're, they're, they're not the same. Exactly. And let's, so point let, the finger let, at the let Jews. Us, let us be clear. Let us be clear on one thing, which you probably don't know, but uh, the Jews that are in Europe are not the original Jews. They're, they're not. I know. Jews. I've heard this. I've heard. Okay. This. I am a. I am a Jew. All right. The people. The people in this country are the real Israelites and the real Hebrews. The black people. All right. I know. I've heard that. I've heard that. This. Okay. So I appreciate you that the fact that you uh, you know, acknowledge that. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not because I'm not a religious scholar, it, but it, I have it, heard it. it. It is true, and, and, I'll, and I'll explain just just to give you a little taste of it. Uh, uh, what what a Semite is? A Semite is somebody who speaks Arabic and Hebrew as their primary languages. Now, those were dominated. It, those were uh, languages that were obviously in Africa. You know, with uh, Ethiopians, uh, people that were in the northern parts like Morocco and shit like that before uh, Muslims or not Muslims, but uh, uh, Arabic people came. Uh, the you know the, yeah Arabic people came and stuff. Uh, so my, to my understanding is how is people like Tim Wise, white people, Jewish people, but yet their first language was Yiddish and they were like Polish people that were in Germany. So how in the fact that they see, because they took power in the Middle East and we all know that Middle East, the, the Middle East holds the power in, uh, what, uh, what was old Palestine? Is it, uh, Israel? It's Israel. Yeah. Israel. So. Let me just fucking, let me just say this. Let me ask you. A hey, let me ask you, when you call me a spick on Twitter, do you, do you hate Mexicans too? I love Mexicans. They're my brothers. Okay, so why do you why you call me a spick? I called you that because again, Twitter is nothing but trolls, and if you get trolled okay. on Twitter, then that obviously means you have a sensitive mind. So 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 you're going to spend hours talking to somebody on Twitter, but they're not supposed to take you seriously. No, the fact that you tried to call me out because I didn't debate you two days ago, I find that to be funny. Even though when I said I'll debate you, right? I already explained why I was antagonizing you. It's because I felt you antagonized me first, and I had to play the game with you. Oh, okay. So, in other words, you thought that I was trying to chicken out or something like that with this debate, as if like I was no, I was and... no, 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 no. Again, okay, okay. The only reason right. I was playing those little games with you is because, well, number one, the first time I, you ever spoke to me online was you called me a snow nigger. So, right. because I felt antagonized, I felt that I had to play the game back. Because sometimes, if you don't jab back at people who jab at you, they think you're a pussy. They think you're a coward. So I, I played along with the game. To at least maybe continue the, the dialogue without you just writing me off. So, okay. you know, I don't want to go down that road of fucking, oh, you're, you're postponing the debate and playing all those stupid fucking games. I don't want to do that. But I found that especially online, if you don't do that, some people won't take you seriously. So, well, personally, you know, I would not, I would like to have not done any of that. And if, if I could take all that dumb shit back, um, I would much, much rather us have a civil discussion rather than just fucking lobbing childish insults at each other back and forth for two days on Twitter. Well, sir, nothing you say I find offensive and nothing anybody that's white says to me is offensive. In fact, if you go on my channel, you can just obviously look at the dislike bar. Like, think about this for a second. All right, Chris, I, think about this. I, I think that you have an open mind. And by hearing you, you're articulate enough to understand this conversation. So look at the video. They're white people, right? Analyze the way I'm speaking. Go back and lis listen to it, just without the hate and shit like that. Um, and look at the dislike bar, and then look at the comments. Anybody on YouTube with a sensitive mind, all right, to think that I'm a pussy, not you, not, not you, I'm just speaking for anybody. This is for anybody that's listening, because I do have bigger YouTubers that are obviously listening to me, because I'm, going, I'm coming after them next, but um, the fact that they thought that they can sit here and shut me up, make me delete my video, or get my video taken down, Listen to this closely. If I was really affected by any of these fucking people that attacked me, don't you think that I would have disabled the like bar or the comment section? In fact, if I have a channel that's 45,000 subscribers, do you think that I would ruin my reputation just to troll and fuck around and not really know what the fuck I was getting into? You're just proving 
the point that your video is still up. I've probably been censored more than you have. I'm, I'm not privileged if that's what you're trying to say. First no, it's not, it's, not, it's not really a privilege argument. It's just to say that, okay. look, you can get away with a lot of the stuff you're saying. Let, let's, let's be fair. I mean, think about it. If we lived in a time where white people were really coming after you 24-7, do you think that you would just have free reign to say stuff like that and not really be of totally course, persecuted and of, of gone course. after? Of course I wouldn't, but you know something? The when things are different. Is, look, look, look. I understand that there is, there's always, like I always say, I'm a freedom fighter. With the Black Lives Movement, it's power to them because, you know, I believe in peace if possible, but violence when necessary. Hey, do you care about the freedom of animals? I'm, I'm curious. What, what's your stance on animals? Or are those... I, don't, I, I barely eat meat. In fact, I, um, I'm more towards vegan than I am, uh, you know, meat eater and stuff because, like I said, me, I'm all about being healthy and stuff and eating organic things like plants and the, the shit that's here on Earth before it gets plagued by the white man because everything now is just being destroyed. Trees, okay, yeah. uh, pollution, all that stuff. So when it comes to animals, I'm not, you know, I don't like I said, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, I'm not an animal lover and all that. But but like I said, I have a fucking, I have a soul. You know, I'm a human, so I have emotions towards anything that's suffering. So even with white people, all right, I made a video, and you can go back. I made a video about a white guy, 62 year old man, that was crying on a fucking uh, live stream because some racist motherfucking cancer, who you should be attacking, uh, named Keemstar. Who has been supposed to be off the channel of YouTube, but he makes these bullshit drama uh, accusations, false news, I've and he talked about a man being a pedophile, but the man wasn't a pedophile. They got the fucking story wrong. So every fucking video I debunked him, and the fucker was telling me that I'm socially irrelevant, but yet now he seems to get my attention, and everybody wants me to bait him. But let me let me just go so ahead. So you didn't hate that old white guy? You didn't hate his guts? I don't I don't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody off the color of their skin. I only hate the fact that white people uh, uh, I hate the fact uh, I hate uh, uh, basically what white people do. I hate their um, their uh, can't get the word. I'm, I'm processing it. Uh, I hate their actions. I, I just hate actions. I hate the fact that you can be evil towards somebody for no fucking reason. And you think that black people right now what they're doing is bad. Oh, please, dude. I've seen so much good shit from like all communities. All right. And I don't judge anybody off color of skin. But the fact that my people always seem to be in Fox News considered to be a thug and a criminal with Hispanics. But then when white people come and shoot us, the number one thing they say is they have a mental illness. So that's why I asked you about the red pill. Because I find it funny that, WDBJ you know... WDBJ shooter was immediately categorized as being mentally ill. Right. That's a black man going on a freaking random shooting... And he was perceived as having a mental illness because he exhibited the qualities of these crazy lone nut gunmen. There's a difference between Hispanics gang warfare over freaking tribalistic reasons and some lone nut because he has some delusional ideology about, you know, his freaking over glorified ego. Uh, so I, I really don't see a double standard there. So let me ask you a question. The IQ test, do you think it's flawed? <sighs> Some people have said the IQ test is inherently racist or something like that. Okay, it is flawed because if the fact that Europeans created an IQ test based on their race, and then they have everyone else take this IQ test, knowing that you and I are two different people, all right? For example, the, the, when you look at birds, you have the eagles flying with the eagles, the crows flying with the crows, the pigeons with the pigeons, etc. So don't try to group all these birds in together, such as race. Because I'm sick and tired of fucking little white kids saying, oh, we're only one fucking race, and that's the human race. Fuck out of here with that shit. Because if that was the case, motherfucker, we would be the same, and I'd have a fucking job, equal rights and everything. I wouldn't be on YouTube bannering and making fucking videos about this shit. I promise you I wouldn't. But and, and you, you, do have a, a, you do have a sort of a, an ideal. You look forward to a world where we could all live in peace, though, right? If necessary, but I believe that there is not there. First of all, racism is never going to uh, uh, it's, it's never going to go away. Racism is never going to go away because white people are losing their fucking grip on this country. And 40 something, uh, 26 years from now, it's going to be uh, mainly melanated yeah. people and they're going to be the the uh, 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 minorities. But let, let's go ahead and talk about population here. And by the way, when when that when that majority comes, will black people then be allowed to be racist? N no, because we cannot undo the history. That's like saying, let's forget about the history. Right. But then if we forget the history, what happens? History repeats itself. 
So you're telling me that if we forget about this history and just say, you know what, we'll forgive it and wash it away and, and, and just, re, you know, uh, restart, then black people become in charge. And then yet we want to say that, oh, they're racist now and then start killing them again for 400 years because you all because white people always justify a killing of a black person. Then white people get being killed by uh, by blacks. For example, look at Tamir Rice, a 12 year old playing with a fucking BB. More gun. white kids Dude. with toy guns were shot and killed by cops that year than black kids with fake little toy guns. In fact, it's even even proportion it's given even the race statistics, the uh, the population proportions. It happens to white kids too. It happens to white kids, but it doesn't happen more so than uh, uh, to them than it does Check to black. Check the numbers. Uh, I've, I, dude, dude I've first seen, of all, I've heard the numbers, and I heard dude, that it happens more to white everything kids. Everything gets stored. Hey, actually, every I almost got. I almost. I actually had a. You cannot compare. You cannot compare some white children that have been killed by cops accidentally versus bl uh, white cops shooting a black child because they feel their life was in danger. You see the context of that? No, I'm it's, talking it's, about kids who had toy guns. Yeah, White but listen, to the, context. listen to the context. Listen to the context. It's cops shooting kids because they're in fear of their life, all right? One side is not in fear of their life. The other side supposedly is. So when white cops see black, the first thing, like I was telling you about the whole, uh, the, the, what they, how they believe uh, what they perceive black to be is evil and wicked and shit like that. Psychologically, everything that's black is 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 supposed to be evil and tainted. Yeah. So the first thing that happens when white people yeah. walk past us, they want to clinch their purse and they want to grab their husband real tight. Yeah, and but it's you true. know what though, I, I still think that the the theory that I put forward is still a pretty good theory on why there's this sort of fundamental fear of darkness. It makes sense. People you know, are afraid that's, of the dude, dark. That's an opinion, dude. Come on, dude. You don't if think I so. sleep. You're not Dude, first think about it for a second. When you sleep, right? When you sleep, th this does, this is why it doesn't make sense. When you sleep and uh, 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 you, you're dreaming, you have a dream and you're running away from Chucky or or Freddy Krueger or something, and you're running real slow. That dream isn't dark. You see what's going on. But okay, versus a dream, and sometimes but, but hold on, but you're in the minute, wild versus, and there's a freaking listen, lion listen, in the fucking but, darkness beyond the trees, dude, and that could be scary too. Sense. Okay, first, okay, so here's why here's why I debunk you. What is the difference between animals and humans? Humans have an imagination. Animals don't. So the fact that you said that in the dark, you have a tiger or a lion chasing you, that's an imagination. That is something that is uh, 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 just thought up in your head because you've seen something similar or have seen that before. So if white people fear black people, it's not because it's some random shit that just poofed out of nowhere. It's because of a psychological damage that has been done. Light, years. light is associated with so many things. Light, how about fire? When you're wielding fire, you can see the and enemy. You can, see, you can right? see things that might be there. Light you unveil the darkness. Darkness okay, so is associated with the threat. The form, darkness plus the threat equals more fear than just the threat alone. That because when not, the threat, that doesn't make when any the sense. yes, it does make sense. When the no, threat is when the threat is I mean, veiled in darkness. It's even harder to know where the threat is. It's, it makes, here's, here's, here's it's totally it sensible to, to think that. Here's where I'll make it more simple for you. If even though this is a, this is kind of a silly thing to talk about, you know, light versus dark as some kind of no, evidence no, 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 of racism. That's, that's great. It's great if we're talking about this. But here, here, here's, where, <laughs> here's where actually it gets even more, like, interesting. Take a child, right, that has never seen anything good or bad. So they're, so they're, we can consider them a good child, like a, you know, innocent child. Yeah, but once they see something bad and then okay, they might have an idea me... that it's somewhere lurking in the dark room with them, then there's a reason to be afraid. No, you're missing the point. I'm not missing the point. The yes, point you is are. that there's What I'm trying darkness. to say is this, is that you're claiming that something that is in pitch black can make you just randomly imagine something that has, that you've never seen before. Okay. So uh, no, the... I'm saying that when you're in darkness, you can't know what threats are around you. Okay, but but before you have to you have to understand your body has to give out a certain language to understand and identify. Sure, you have to see a lion attacking okay, you. Okay, so you can't sit and say that in once, there, once you know what a lion is, and you're out in the fucking woods, and it's dark, and you can't see the lion, the darkness Dude, that is makes, associated. That the makes darkness. No the darkness is not the fear point, what but it's a. First? It, it adds to the fear because first? of the uncertainty. What, what came first, the fear of dark or the lion? Like I just told you, 
A you answer the question. Do you probably the fear have of dark to be afraid, or a lion? Like I just told you, you probably have to be afraid of the lion first, and then the darkness is a is a corollary factor that makes it that a little bit more so, scary. So the lion, so the lion is, so the lion is the I cause. Can't, I can't and, believe and, we're and debating lions versus darkness. No, 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 no. Because ahead, we're trying to understand the fact that why white people think anything of black and dark is supposed to be evil versus anything white is supposed <laughs> to be right and light. Everything. So, I mean, come child. on. I mean, listen, dude. Fucking, take a child. Chalkboards are black. Chalkboards chalk chalk are chalk. black. Not everything that black that white people talk. I let you talk. You been, you talk for like you talk for like twenty minutes, dude. Well, because you don't understand the shit we're talking about, so I have to explain it to you so you can understand. No, and I have to keep refuting you that black. Not everything that is black is associated with fear. White people do not associate everything that is listen, black with fear. Listen, it's a psychological thing, okay? We're talking about subliminal. Right, and I already I told angel, you. Angel's, angel's food cake is white. Devil's food cake is black. You wear white to weddings and black to funerals. Okay. About everything what about whitewash? Whitewash. That's a negative oh, term. You're being so literal. What are you talking about? Oh, wait, wait, whitewash. wait. You're talking about whitewash. You're talking about, okay, I thought you were talking about like a whitewash wall or something. No, like, like, I'm talking about like, you know, whitewash is, 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 that's a term associated with like diluting something. You're taking the value out okay, of something. So, whitewash. So, that's a negative so, term associated with white. So what do you think of this term then? It's an it's, it's all right <clears throat> to tell a little lie as long as it's a little white lie. All right. So let's just tally them up. Let's see how many terms associated with black or negative well, and wait how a minute. many terms. I just so i refuted what you just said so so you you're trying to compare fucking white and black i'm trying to tell you what people see white as and what see people see black as but take a child right? but they don't see never, take uh, a child that has not been born into a race i just hate your generalizations man because not everybody Dude, feels that because way because you're not keeping an open mind you're so no you're, you're, i'm telling I'm you about you i'm not talking about uh, you i'm talking about white people okay you all right fine fine, fine 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 you claim to be cuban so we're gonna run with that i'm not talking about cubans all right i'm not talking about that i'm talking about white people people that don't even identify with their own race where their history roots come from some motherfucker could be german some could have 12 percent black in them but they don't identify right. with that they defend identify with the social uh, uh construct of being white the stereotype you know what i'm saying this intelligent beautiful stereotype because let's be real Europeans are seen as the most beautiful race in the world based off of their own ideas because they have, first of all, how can 7, 19, 17 to 19 percent of people, the population on the planet, control all media and make people feel that there are more Europeans in the world than anybody else? I don't know. Zionists, the Zionist supremacist people, they, they right, would say that they're right. superior. Right. So let's blame corporations like, you know, <clears throat> Disney, uh, Viacom and stuff like that. So my point is, is that now you got all these people, the, the small majority, of, minority of people claiming that, you know, that they are the, like I told you, the father of medicine, the father of philosophy, science, culture, music, everything. But history only proves that blacks were here first. This shit's going to be recorded, dude. And I know for a fact that you're going to fucking look some of this shit up that I say. And when I've you do. I've a lot of it, believe it or not. I've... Right. So, so you're not, you're not blind to this shit. So it's like, dude, we shouldn't even be having a conversation about. How can black people be racist? Uh, I listen. No, no, no. Let, look, let me tell you why you're mad. No, no. Let me explain. The, the problem is that I know that there are a lot of no. Listen, listen, it's, listen. It's, it's individuals getting... versus collected uh, collections. Okay, this is this is okay, the fundamental you're... value difference between right, you and so, I. So here's where we're gonna agree on that. You're probably gonna be like flipping out. I fucking I can't <sighs> stand some. I can't stand niggas. I can't stand them. All right. And oh, I'm not God. talking about. I'm not talking about the Uncle Toms and all that. I'm talking about ignorant ass motherfuckers that walk past me and say, what the fuck you looking at? And you know what I tell them? I say, come step up so I can kill your bitch ass. And, and so you'll be like, oh, what the fuck? You, you talking about killing your own brother? Dude, I'm trying to tell you that there are ignorant people in every fucking race. Black people are fucking prejudiced, but we can never be racist. Never. All right, so let's bro. not get, because we are miseducated, all right? Everyone is miseducated. Black people are fucking ignorant because the system fails us. The system fails us. And I'm not I'm trying to tell you that the reason why white people feel that they that we are racist is because, first of all, the word cracker. Do you think that's a racist term? Um, it's a hostile work term towards white people. It's so offensive. Yeah, coming it's offensive. coming yeah, from my individualist perspective, I would say it is racist because I, I I'd like to judge individuals, not collectives. Okay. Okay. So Just let me so let, let me generalizations. Let me, let me, I'm not okay. gonna do that. Okay. Here's why I say that you can't compare the words cracker or nigger because 
they can't compare the stories behind them, right? So, for example, if someone calls you a cracker, big deal, right? No power associated. Is it really with true that white people have been the the most evil, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, advantageous, Prec oppressive? Is that is that even true? I mean, I'm not a of fucking historian, they have. White, but white, I wonder dude, if white, there's dude. an alternative perspective out there. I okay, wonder. So let me let me let me ask you: When have black people ever came to your country, robbed you of a knowledge of self, took in your land, recolonized the land, taken your names, changed it to African names, forced you into slavery, made you speak their language, and then say, "Oh, you know, we free you after 400 years, after we've had 400 plus years to evolve and to 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 uh, you know the, to to yeah, basically basically evolve 400 years ahead of you, and then keep you down." Deaf, dumb, and blind. So we put alcohol stores in uh, corner stores on, on your uh, in, in your hoods. Meanwhile, we have men warehouses, we have Starbucks's, we have bowling alleys, and nice wineries and shit in the suburbs, closed gated areas. But then we tell black people that, oh, you know what? You guys are just thugs and criminals and, and alcoholics and, and, and niggers that, that are on crack. But how did how how did the crack get there though? So listen, the eighties crack was hold on wait. A minute. I know, I know, I know. The, the, it was shipped in. They shipped it in. The FBI, you know about the, the FBI wars on Tupac Shakur and black uh, uh, revolutionary leaders. So how why do white people? Let this is what I'm getting. Why do white people use Martin Luther King? But listen, why a, do they a moment use ago you just weapon? said that you if you were to pass by another black person on the street that you thought right. that you thought was annoying or whatever, don't you think that you should hold it seems to me like you want black people to hold themselves responsible for how they conduct themselves. Of course we got to hold ourselves Yeah, when it comes to uh, drugs, uh, when it do. comes to drugs in the hood in the liquor store you just mentioned, you don't want to hold black people for re responsible for the no, choice. No, we can't. No, we can't. To no, we can't. No, we can't. You cannot you cannot sit here and say that it's black people have to no, dude. Because listen, when you have when you have been robbed of a knowledge, and this yourself, is why I have... like black conservatives because they listen, they, listen. they they push this hardcore. That's because that's because they don't. Come, that's because they're not in the communities. They don't live in the communities. They don't understand the pain and the suffering that's been going on for so long. Let, let me ask you something. All right, let me ask you something. Do you know about uh, uh post traumatic uh, uh uh syndrome, slave syndrome? It's where black people have not. It's an amnesia effect. Everyone suffers from. But if that's true, why are you why are you threatening to kill a black dude who walks by you if he's a victim? Okay, so I was saying that in a more of a, I was trying to give you a description of, of, of an emotion that I feel. If anybody walks past me, right, and they give me a certain look and they say some stupid shit, I'm going to tell them because I'm antagonized, right, uh, uh, if you try me, then I will fucking drop you in self-defense. I don't care what it is. If it's either me fucking threatening him to, to, to in his life. But black people can't be racist. Black people can't be racist. How is that racist? How is that racist? Well, How is that racist? Well, let me finish. Black people can't be racist. Black people can't attack. Black people can't be held responsible for their actions. So for you to defend yourself against a black person when they're just victims of slavery, blame the white man. That seems like Sir, an inconsistency you, in your okay. values. No, it doesn't. Because again, what I'm trying to tell you is that when you take a knowledge, when you take a knowledge yourself and rob them of their identity, the people that they are or the, supposed to be, right? Then put them in an uh, area and make them yeah. deaf, dumb, and blind with alcohol and drugs, and give them guns. Pit one against another. Uh, pit one against another, and then point the finger and say, "See, look at what these people are doing." Dude, that, aren't, aren't you can't play that on me? Come on, man. Like, are you serious? Like, come on, dude. You cannot put people in a pop. Try putting white people in the area, right? And see how they'll get along. Put people in a small, condensed area, anybody, and the same effects will, uh, will apply. You cannot sit here and tell me that, that it's black people that's the problem because I'm not. No, there is I no don't, correlation. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I said black people are the problem. Okay. I'm you saying that. that I'm said saying, it was correlation. I'm, you said it was a correlation with skin and crime. No, no, no. Now you're going back to the beginning, which I already refuted. I'm talking about you saying that you would hold the black dude accountable for his actions if he looked I at you the wrong way. I accountable of his action. No, what I'm saying is black people have to, you know, there is a point in time. Where we have to do for our ah, lives. but you guys are victims, so you know black listen, people can't listen, be racist. Listen, we uh, uh, there is a point in time where black people have to do for ourselves because white people are not going to heal everything. They are not going to give us reparations, which I find to be funny because you gave the Japanese, the Jews, and even the fucking natives reparations, but you didn't get black people reparations, okay? And even you fucked over the treaties with the natives. Well, I've stuff. actually heard some arguments for Cubans demanding reparations uh, from the U.S., but okay. Well, like I said, we're talking about we're talking about shit that's happening in, in this country, and and if we really want to go there, okay, Cuba Cuba is not in the U.S. It's not in. The I US. know. So, so <laughs> my point is, you're saying you and the reparations. You're again, you're lumping me in with the whites, 
when it's it's, it's oracle it, and, and, and American right. whites. All right, but you know when you say okay. you, when it it's not like I was it's not like I'm a fucking European Caucasian who was okay. fucking has so a whole about... family lineage going back three hundred years in America. It's right. It's just not completely accurate. And hey, like I said at the beginning, and I hate to have to qualify this to you, but my grandma's pretty fucking dark skin. But anyways. Okay, and that's fine. And you may have, and obviously you have African DNA blood in you. I listen, man, and I that that's a right hand to God for me. Like everyone originated from, whether if you have five percent or or two percent, you have black DNA in you. And you may say, well, wait a minute. I'm, you know, my family says that they they've been white the whole since they got here from Europe. So that means that obviously black people are indigenous everywhere. So, you know, like I said, people are just, it, it, history is just funny because people don't want to learn it, but yet they don't want to talk about slavery and shit. But how else are you going to understand the people that you live with and you see every day if you don't know about them? Let me ask you, man. Um, you, you mentioned the theory of evolution at, at, at the beginning, or maybe it was me who mentioned it. I didn't, I didn't mention that. I didn't mention it. Okay, either. maybe it was me. Um, but I think you were trying to get me to say that it's a true theory. Um, but, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. What am I? What was I trying to get you to say? That was a true theory. I think you were. Because, I think. Because, I think you were everyone, just trying every, to get no, me no, to no, say. No, no, no. Because it's a fact that everyone originated right. from Africa, so that's not a theory. Right, 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 right. Okay, but do you think okay. evolution is a theory? As far as like what we we came from primates and shit. Yes, that's what I mean by no, the theory no, of evolution. No, no, we didn't. Let 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 us be clear on one thing: black people and na and brown people did not come from. Uh, uh, right. Calls, that's why. Calls. That's why I. That's why I told you I was a little skeptical of that theory. Okay. The well, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, and by no, the way, the theory of evolution has been used for all types of eugenics and shit, which you probably now, aware. Now, here, 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 here's where the funny thing. Here's where you're about to flip out. White people actually have two to three, uh, two to four percent Neanderthal DNA in them. Yeah. So white people can breed lice. White people have tails. Um, there are there are white people that uh, that uh, have uh, uh, what, what's it called? Um, uh, uh, not not reptilian eyes, but it's uh, it, it's the uh, what is it? Well, here's the I thing: see? even even if that's true, is it? It's also true that humans have like ninety plus percent genetic in common with chimpanzees and primates. So no, we're no. all kind of pretty no, related. Said, if you're going to take said, the they, mainstream they said, science on it, they said they said there's a similarity, and they're talking about the Neanderthal uh, Neanderthal gene because even if chimps were somehow uh, uh, the default devolved form of a human. Then, for, then first of all, they don't look like black people. You shave a chimp, they look just like a white person with white skin. They have skinny, frail lips, and they do, right. So we're not even. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you're telling me that if if you shave a chimp, if you shave his a skin chimp, is I'm white. Pink, his skin, his skin is pink. Is a pink white skin, a turkey complexion. I'll, I'll skin. have to Google that. Right, because you look at the fur, though you look at the fur, and they say, "Oh, they look black people look like gorillas." No, white people look like gorillas. Shave one. But wait, I'll, oh. I'll tell you, we all look like gorillas. We we have so no, much no, in common with gorillas. They, they, dude. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. Uh, when have, okay, of... look at a black. Look at a black man. Look at a black man. Okay, look at look at their unique genetic body. Okay, we don't have hairy backs. We don't have hairy chests. We don't have hairy arms. We don't have big bushy beards like you guys well, do. Well, you do it. Well. Actually, I think uh, there are some. There are some that have those. You know, obviously hairy backs and shit. But look at the how. Look at how the fact. Wait, that plenty chimps, of blacks grow beards. No, look at. Okay, first of all, if you have seen my beard, right? My beard is. Well, you got you got stubble, bro. That that ain't no beard. That's for right, sure. Right, right, exactly. So it's not <laughs> even a beard. So, but your beard is like literally the. But wait, I, I've seen some Hebrew Israelites street preaching with full fucking beards. Right, because they're a lot older. They're mature than me. My body hasn't matured yet. But my, my point is, is that... But listen, if you want to like draw these comparisons, can't you also say that you know blacks have wider nostrils and that looks sort of like gorillas or, or the bigger lips? I mean, we could, we could like even, tally even, up these even, silly comparisons even if, all day. Even, 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 if, even, if we look, even if we look like a, a, a monkey and all this other shit that you claim, let, let's, let's, let's do the comparison. The fact that white people, not you, but I mean, white people... By the people, way, um, I'm claiming that white people as well, generally speaking. Know, we I all know, look I generally said, like... Not you. Okay. Said, white people, not you. Uh, the fact that white people uh, try to make racist jokes and saying they were monkeys, but I kind of find it funny because we call them pigs because they have a pink skin. They don't have white skin. They have pink skin if you look real closely at a white person. So let's do the comparison. What animal actually is healthy? Hmm, animal uh, chimpanzees eat bananas. Monkeys eat bananas, which is a very healthy fruit. Meanwhile, you have pigs who eat their own shit. 
So, you know, you got white people who are, you know, eating uh, pig feet, uh, chitlins, and, and all these intestines and shit, pig snout. They look just like the animal they are. Shit. So, all right, you know, man. You know, anyways, you know, I just wanted to throw it out. Throw it out all but, right, but like, bro. like I said, we talked about. And hey, and hey, I, I could, you know, I don't want to have to jump back. I don't want to have to jump back at you with the silliness, but I could also point out all types of, you know, quote unquote barbaric, atrocious things that blacks in Kenya have done. We we can we can spend all day talking about incest and I just have right, to say that because right. I have to and, say something. Right, right. And then and then and then I then I'll come back and then I'll come back at you with more historical facts about how white people and you can look in, in Europe, you can look at statues, how they actually practice homosexuality and pedophilia because they have children statues where children are grabbing the genitals from from the men's statues and shit. And they find that to be normal. That they're trying to normalize that in some churches and shit in in the United States. All right, all right? so let me ask you. Let me ask you. All right, um, what what is your if you could snap your fingers and live in an ideal world where, where the world was the way you wanted it? What what is your end goal? What 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 would you ideally want the world to be like? Well, first of all, for my people, um, I would want agriculture. I would want the fact that we would be acknowledged as the uh, true uh, uh, originators of this earth because we don't get credit for anything. And I'm not talking about rap or hip hop or you know sports and all that stuff. I'm not talking about none of that shit. I'm talking about the fact that people sit here. They have a fucking, in Greece, they have a fucking statue of Moses. Moses, an Egyptian who civilized the Greeks, then the Romans, the Egyptians, and then the British. And white people here don't even know that we fucking civilized them so if we want to talk about an ideal world for me i want black children okay who identify with their culture their language their names their gods their mores their folk ways you know what i'm saying by the nature being of themselves i don't want them identifying with another fucking race when i go to china you know and i see a chinese and his name is ming lao and he talks to me and says, what is your name? Oh, my name is James Washington. He laughs at me because he knows that that's a white man and I don't know who the fuck I am. So in the world that we want to live in, we don't want to rule over white people or anybody else. We want people of, of color to live in peace. And the only white, the only man on the planet Earth who has not gotten along with anyone of color is the white man. So when you say, can we live in a world of peace and shit? Dude, my arms are fucking tired. My arms literally are drop dead because every time we have tried to live in peace, the white man has came in and destroyed it. Let, let, look, talk about 1921, Oklahoma, Tulsa. OK, so it was a black Wall Street. What happened? The Ku Klux Klan and the government came and shut it down. Killed it. What happened to the Black Panthers and the civil rights movement? After the 60s, it seemed like everything was was working well for uh, for black people. But then the FBI and then the wars on the black revolutionary leaders and shit like uh, Afeni uh, Shakir, Tupac Shakir and, and, uh, and all these other brothers and sisters and stuff. Um, they were killed. They, they were assassinated. They were assassinated. They were uh, brought up on uh, allegations as far as like drugs and and, uh, you know, guns and shit like that that was planted on them. And, it, it, and then some of them were gunned down at the scene of their homes assassinated so you guys talk not you but white people talk about martin luther king well what, what will martin luther king do well let's get this shit out the fucking way, fucking way martin luther king's quote said his last quotes were i believe that i brought my people into a burning uh, uh a burning house so you guys have the nerves to talk about martin luther king a black man and use that in your defense to condition us to love you and be peaceful and drop our hands when the cops are beating us in the public eye but then, yet, yeah, you assassinated him. The very people that say, what would Martin Luther King do? And you were the ones that blew his brains out. Not you, speaking rhetorically towards white people. So, I want to get that shit out the fucking way. We can never live in a fucking society. This is the fucking truth, all right? We can never live in a society where it is very peaceful. The only thing that we can do from here on out is to educate our own and try to do for ourselves. And I'm talking about blacks, Hispanics, and uh, anybody of color that identifies in the human family. If you're white and you don't focus on that bullshit, then, then do something. Speak up. 
Where is your overwhelming majority of white folks, not you, but the whole comment section on my fucking channel telling me that white folks are, 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 are there's only like a few uh, clans members and shit like that. Bull fucking shit. But you got to admit racist. that the stereotype that white people are racist is, 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 is sort of a default. It's, it's widespread. Like, okay, that's, that's funny that you brought that up because I was actually watching a video of yours that when you were talking about, uh, I think, the red pill or something like that. You said something like when you go to, pre oh, yeah, you were talking about, it's called a sellout. Oh, people think you were selling out because you were uh, selling the pill. Well, it's yeah. funny because at the, at close to the end, you said uh, prank channels, pranking, pranking people is hard work and shit, right? So do you know that the majority of these pranking channels are exposed for faking videos by paying actors on the streets? And we already, there's videos right now that I can link you that are already been exposed. You can, uh, Fousey too. Yeah, yeah. All these motherfuckers have been exposed. So let's go ahead and talk about that. The fact that they go to the hood and say uh, pranking in the hood prank or some shit like that. Look at the fucking comments. And you're going to tell me that that's default? The fact that they say, oh, look at black people. They're fucking animals. Wait a minute. We live in a stressful fucking environment every day. And you're trying to tell me that if a man walks up on me with a toy gun or is taking a fucking water hose and, and sticking it out of his, uh, my, my, uh, my, my gas tank and doing something with that, I'm not going to fucking react in a way that I should? What? That's a human fucking emotion. That is fucking crazy. I find that shit fucking flipping nuts when I hear that shit from white people. But wait a I minute. I get wait. mad when I, fucking, when I hear that shit from fucking... Thousands of comments on these prank channels when they're going to the hood exploiting black people for money. Okay, they even tell you they'll, they'll fucking go there because it, it's, it's easier to get a reaction from us than it is white people because it's not funny with white people. Okay, but what I, what, what I had said a moment ago was that white – the idea that white people are racist, that is a widespread – like it's just it's just it's not everywhere. a default, dude. Because dude, it, it's the fact that I can give you an example, right? It, you, and and you listen to the example in your mind. Truthfully, if a, a wise man would sit here and say that does not sound like default to me, that actually sounds like fucking racism. So whenever wait, I have wait, wait, a fucking what do you mean? Solid well, no, no, I think I think I'm misunderstanding what you mean. When you say default racism, what do you, what are you talking about? You're, you're talking. Saying, you're saying in the comment they, section is a bunch playing, of people ba basically say, playing a race card, right? Just say, "Oh, you're racist and shit," because uh, a white woman didn't like me, or or like walking down the street and somebody just turned so happily turned and looked at me, but they, you know, they were just looking to see past me or something. Oh, but you racist? No, or something? I, no. Like wait, that's wait. that's default racism I, that you're I talking think, about, right? I think we confused the term or something. Okay. What, what I was saying, what I was saying was that. White in general in society, the idea that white people have been racist historically mm -hmm. and that racism still exists, that is a very pervasive idea that white people are racist. That, that's what I meant. Like, you don't think that the idea that white people are a bunch of racists, you don't think that's a, a pervasive idea? Like, oh, yeah, a, no, a I lot agree of, with you. Okay, that, okay. That's so what now, I meant. That's, that's what I meant. Okay, now, okay. All right. Now we can. I can actually breathe a little bit because I was thinking like, what the fuck? Like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so here, let me, let me just say this, right? Because there's going to be viewers that's going to watch this shit. Okay, the word cracker. The, the, the original word is a fucking, it's a white origin term. It comes from slavery. It comes from the cracker man. The cracker man was the, the, the man who whipped the crack on the slave and made the crack noise, okay? So when, you, when I go in game lobbies and shit, you know when black kids call people crackers? You know what they say? It's like, oh, you know, you know why they call us crackers? Because we back in the day, we used to crack the whip on your ass, nigga. Like, and then they laugh. But then mm. white people want to seem so emotionally hurt. Like, oh, my God. you Fuck. Hello? Hell. As far as the stories, I, I, let me finish and then you give your response. No, my bad. I, I couldn't hear you for a second. I couldn't hear you for okay. a second. Okay. You got so, me? So for, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I okay. got you. I got you. Okay, so for the for for example, if someone calls you a cracker, big deal, right? There's no power associated with it. Uh, if someone calls you a hunky, there's no privilege associated with it. Now, if generations of your people have been uh, systematically, categorically discriminated against, and some of them lynched, while mobs of people screaming "kill the hunky," goodbye cracker, then there would be a difference, and then I can understand that, yes, there is racism right there. That is racism. The fact that I take your people, dehumanize them, kill them, rape their women, and, and, and make the babies, uh, enslave the babies, then say you're a fucking cracker, that is history. With that word, yes, identifies as being racism. There's that a difference. There's a difference, no doubt. Go ahead. No, there's a difference. There's a, definitely a difference between cracker. Okay, okay, right, yeah. right. So no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Right, so the narrative for the N-word carries so much evil attached to it that it's hard for whites to connect to the depth right. of the pain. 
So, so uh, this word, th this word has been used, like I said, to dehumanize black people and shit like that. But, but, but I, I did want to ask you another question as far as like, uh, do you, I mean, cause. Well, let you know, me ask you, you that real quick. How much time you got left? Um, I, I got, I got about a couple of minutes and stuff. If you're trying to head out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go maybe five, 10 right. minutes more. Okay. All right. So, so you feel, so you, do you feel that there are, there's still white privilege in America? Like, <clears> do you think that you have white privilege or white people have white privilege or no? Uh, Okay, well, if you're gonna talk about me, uh, my grandmother's a, my grandmother got here. She's she was born and raised in Cuba. She has some pretty bad horror stories about what life in Cuba was like. Um, growing up practically on some kind of farming environment, father was an abusive cunt, uh, killing animals to eat them on you know by herself because they had sort of a farm thing. A lot of struggles, a lot of shit, you know. Uh, my parents, they uh, they were born in Cuba, but they got here when they were a couple of years old. Uh, they were they they were raised mostly in Little Havana here in Miami, which is very, uh, my parents. They uh, they were born in Cuba, but they got here when they were a couple of years old. Uh, they were they they were raised mostly in Little Havana here in Miami, which is very Hispanic area. It's pretty ghetto back when they were growing up. It's still kind of ghetto today. Um, so you want to talk about my white privilege? I mean, my my heritage, my background goes back to another country and a very pretty pretty rough area, pretty rough place. So right. I wouldn't say I'm the most privileged cracker in the world, you know. But um, if you're gonna talk about white privilege in America, they are the majority of the population. That's fucking obvious. Uh, they probably have more accumulated wealth than black people. That's obvious. But the reason that I attack the idea of white privilege is because, again, I, I have this emphasis on individualism versus collectivism. And I also don't think it's healthy for anybody, black or white, to, to have a victim mentality. And I think that a victim mentality cripples people. Um, believe it or not, I don't know if you, you know, believe me, but I do like the idea of living in a world where people can be in harmony with each other. I, I, there's a lot of fucking things about the mainstream culture, the mainstream society that we live in today that I think is fucking horrible. I think the school system is a evil hellhole. Um, I just, uh, I would like to live in a world of peace. I would like to live in a world where we could uh, get rid of a lot of the, the shitty things, some of which are very much representations right. of America. Right. America is very much... There's a lot of things in America that I would say are shitty and that should be changed at a fundamental level. Um, okay. So, so with the privilege, so with the privilege thing, I just I want to ask you because I, I noticed that you did a um, uh, you, I did some research on you and um, I, I found that you had did a uh, um, you went undercover as a homeless <laughs> or something like that, right? You did yeah. like a documentary on homeless people. Yeah, yeah. But it, it seemed that the story that was written on you was more about uh, you attacking blacks. Yeah, it was so, fucking ridiculous, and I hate the fact that he wrote that because it was. It really made me seem like a, I don't know if it really made me seem like a racist because he had like no evidence for it. And at the end of the article, he's like, well, he did interview one black homeless guy and he was really cool with them. So uh, maybe he's not a racist. He was just some freaking idiot looking for a, a, a clickbait title. But no, I was doing a it was like a homeless experiment where I go not undercover as a homeless guy, but I basically go out there and to downtown Miami and I spend three nights. I ultimately spent about two and a half days. And there's a part in downtown Miami where a lot of uh, a lot of Miami's poor, I guess, uh, huddle. And I apparently a lot of these were black. I wasn't even thinking along the lines of skin color, but that shows you the the mentality. A lot of these white liberals who see everything in terms of race, he assumed that because I was pointing a camera where there were black people, and I said that these these were probably drug addicts. They were homeless. And a lot, I don't even remember what I said exactly. I don't know if I said they were drug addicts or, or I said that they were, they were just homeless, homeless drug, drug area. He assumed that that was racist, but okay. even if there were white people there and there probably were some white people there, so, so it doesn't mean that I'm making a direct statement between skin and their behavior. It's, it's fucking disgusting that he would write that, but there's nothing I can do. Okay, so no, no, I, and, and I get what you're saying. So, so basically, this is another white guy calling another white guy uh, privilege, right? White privilege. This is he was ca calling out the white privilege that you can go into a black neighborhood and 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 discriminate against races. Uh, I mean, discriminate against black people with in your own in your in your mind. Would you feel that he was kind of pointing out your white privilege or just just your racism? <sighs> um, 
He didn't say anything about privilege. He just okay. fuck. He just accused me of being a racist, okay. like a fucking cunt. Okay, so 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 basically the uh, the the notion that you were in a, a poor uh, poor area. It was and I wasn't even a poor area. It was literally in the oh, middle okay. of downtown, underneath like a metro. There's like a metro train station, and there's like an area with shelter. It was literally in a in in a packed city center where thousands of people go to work every day. It's just like this one pocket. It's okay, just a so, clickbait journalist looking for a sensationalized headline. Right. So, so, so I just wanted to make a note that uh, <clears throat> for white people that don't know uh, if they have privilege or not. Well, you know, I have some statistics here, and it says, uh, you know, if you're African American with a college degree, you're still going to be twice as likely as a white person with a degree to be out of work. If you're a Latino or Asian with a degree, you are forty to fifty percent more likely than whites with a degree to be out of work. It means that white men, 25 to 34, are going to earn an average one third more than blacks, black men, 55 to 64, who have more experience in the workforce. It's not going to mean that every single competition is going to be uh, going to be won by the white person by by a white person. It means that uh, um, uh, that on the balance, it still passes in the labor force, justice system, school system, and the housing market to be white. So. For white people that don't understand that what we're talking about as far as privilege, then that's what we're talking about. Well, you know, you know what uh, a lot more people need to hear of all races? They need to hear that college degrees are really fucking overrated. Then, um, then, because you can go to college and then not even get a fucking job. That's why I tell people, like, listen, it's, it's, it's more important to self-educate yourself than it is to go to college. Because, and I'm not advocating to not go to college, but I'm saying that, first of all, college is fucking 50% filler. You go to the fucking classroom. Of course. The teacher only gives you a book, right? And then you have to do the fucking work. Of course. So, so yeah, so it's like it's you know, retarded. The majority of YouTubers, yeah, the majority of YouTubers are actually college dropouts. Like I was a college <laughs> dropout back in 2013, and then I just I went back because you know I got I, I love sports. So, um, but but I just wanted to point out the the black privilege part as far as like you know uh, what we see as uh, uh, our black privilege in, in a negative way. I, I know I noticed you know a lot of you guys feel that black people have privilege. But I just, this is what I see as far as black privilege. Black privilege is uh, knowing that we, we are second class citizens, being taught that our history starts from slavery, uh, not being taught that you know we started civilization and uh, uh, came here with 17 dialects and shit like that. Uh, knowing that we're more likely to get shot by a cop or the fact that when we see a white cop, uh, we, we tend to get scared, even though we haven't done anything. It's just psychological. Um, women obviously wearing, you know, weave and uh, bleaching their skin and then wearing blue eye contacts and shit like that to represent a, or imitate a European beauty. Uh, Self-love. Right. Telling us to get over slavery, but yet, you know, again, you know, July the 4th is celebrated every year and then being reminded that uh, it's important to identify as the human family and uh, with other cultures. But as far as uh, trying to identify with Africans, it's, you know, they don't, you know, it's like, fuck that. But the race card, you think blacks have, a, you think the race card exists as among as black people? You mean... Blacks playing the race playing card. Playing the race card, right? You think you think blacks play the race card and shit? Okay, the race card. Let's see. What exactly is the race card again? For some reason, okay, I'm. So like, if um, it, you know, if uh, uh, if 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 I'm walking past. Yeah. Woman, okay. 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 Right? And then she's, yeah, you know, I look right. at her and say, "Hey, cutie," and she's like, uh, "No," and I'm like, "Oh, you're fucking racist or some shit," or like somebody says, "Dude, I have uh, you know you know." I have black friends, you know, I, you know, I, you know, shit like that. It's like, nah, dude, you're fucking racist, and blah blah blah. Or like, if you go into a, a a a mall and you know you're stealing, and somebody's looking at you, and they're like, "What are you doing?" It's like, dude, are you fucking, you, you know, walking around trying to discriminate against me? I'm black, you know, this is racist, like shit like that. You you feel that that's playing the race card and shit like that? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess a recent a recent example. Not saying that this is an example of the race card, but would be like, you know. Did Will Smith just accuse the Oscars of ra- I don't know. Okay, he, I don't let's know talk. He, I don't let's know if he accused about, them. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. But listen, I, I don't want to keep going, man. It's we've been doing this for like two hours. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, so, so okay. Yeah. So let me let me just let me just ask, let me just ask you this, okay? All um, right. Last, last thing, I guess. Last, last thing. Uh, do you think? Do you okay? Because you talk about the Matrix. Uh, obviously, we we know that you know there's a. We live in a uh, programmed world, and 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 I sort of, and to some degree, I kind of agree as far as like um, society is not the way it is. And if you walk around, people are always in their phones ninety percent of their time. Like their day is like is programmed. So, uh, do you believe? Would you possibly assume, or uh, could you believe that uh, there's a white denial matrix where white people just you know escape reality as far as like 
this is the truth. You have to deal with the consequences of the history, even if you didn't do anything. So if I were to take, if my parents were to take me to a restaurant and then they were to skip on the bill, then would the, would the owner just say, oh, that's fine. We'll just excuse you since you're the child. Or would I have to step up and, and pay the, uh, the consequences for that bill? So uh. the ancestors, if we built this country for 400 years and we, get it, we didn't get a dime, then how is it to say that white people that are benefiting from that, co- from, from that time period and on, and then they're, you know, g- generations are moving forward, and we're still left behind and civilization is just forgetting about black people and their reparations? Do you feel that there is a white denial or do you feel that there is no such thing as white denial? Um, assuming that the history you've told me is true, which you've dumped a lot on my head in the past two hours, and I'm not a fucking historian, so there mm. might be some people who have, you know, something, they might be able to refute what you're saying, so I don't know, I'm going to have to research this now, but assuming what you're saying is true, then I think there probably is um, a, a desire to deny history, because it implicates, uh, you know, the fucked up shit that people do uh, right. throughout right. history. So, okay. you know, yeah, there okay. probably is. And I mean, I know that uh, between the Chinese and the Japanese, there's, you know, the raping of Nanking. There's, right. a, there's a lot of denial, a lot of downplaying about how bad the atrocities were. So, you know. Okay. Like, right. And yeah. You also have the, denial the exists. Denial exists. The Japanese, the, the Japanese were persecuted here when they were in California during the, you know, the, J- J- the you yes. know, American, Japan and shit like that. But the Irish as well. Irish were also persecuted here in America. Yeah, but the, but the, the Irish now are seen as white people and stuff. And they, they're, you know, you can ask Sean Hannity how he's doing with his bigoted ass. But uh, last two questions and that's it and I'll let you go. Uh, all right. I, I don't know if I got time for two more questions, bro. Okay. So last question about the, the yeah. basketball thing. You you were talking Which, about okay. how basketball, you're talking about the NBA. You were saying that uh, black, why, how come there are more black players in the NBA <sighs> versus white people, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a okay. dis- disproportionate amount of blacks. Uh, okay, you know so what? that might be because blacks uh, are just better at basketball. Period. Okay, okay, so you, okay, so that that that's literally simple. It's the fact that uh, you know, uh, would you agree that even though white people started something, that maybe that there's just another race that's just better than them at that? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, to 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 deny that there are differences between the races is just fucking stupid. Right. So, so let's take uh, Cam Newton. If you watch NFL, uh, he's, he's the Carolina Panthers uh, uh, quarterback. Uh, I think they're in the playoffs now. But Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow and Cam Newton went to Florida, uh, you know, in Florida. Uh, Tim Tebow was the starter. He's a white guy. And then Cam Newton was the st- uh, second string. Um, Cam Newton was getting playing time and Tim Tebow was an all star uh, Heisman winner. So fast forward, they go to the NFL. Cam Newton actually becomes a better quarterback, which he's black. Tim Newton, uh, Tim Tebow is a white quarterback. Obviously, he sucks. Um, but yet people t- you know, gave him another ch- three chances because, you know, he's, he's a Christian and, you know, white people love this whole, I guess Christians, should, I should say, love this whole, oh, you know, he's peaceful. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a beacon of hope. He's, he's so, he's so lovely. I love this guy. He's a great guy. Shit like that. But for, going, going towards uh, genetics, you know, black well, wait people. A minute. Oh, wait, 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 but you mentioned the NFL, but how about the NBA? I mean, I was watching, okay, look, I was look, watching look, a video look. on YouTube the other day and mm-hmm. this guy was pulling, pulling out statistics. I, I could send you the video if you want. Um, yeah, yeah. Send Maybe me the you video can tell me if the statistics are wrong, but he said that uh, blacks have been nominated for MVP in basketball way, way, way more than whites have over the past 20 years. And in fact, it's even disproportionately in favor of blacks, given that they're only about 13% of the population. I think they won like 70% of all MVP awards. Okay. Um, so... Uh- well, here's my here's my answer to that. Um, so basically, you know, just to make it just make it a fair response for for white viewers, uh, black youth, you know, from child from 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 you know child and up, uh, black youth are uh, reinforced positive, you know, positively um, from their parents to pursue uh, athletics because again, parents are not knowledgeable to know that hey, you know what, uh, there's plenty of ways to go to college without being an athlete, but they tend to use that route because again, you know, if if my parents just got out of slavery and they don't know shit. And then they have kids and their kids don't know shit. It's a repeating cycle. So obviously these kids are going to be playing basketball at childbirth and they're going to be just so good at it that by the time they're teens, they're going to be uh, recruited throughout the whole nation. And then when they get to college, they're going to be like playing at a professional level. And when they're at professionals, they're Hall of Famers and shit like wait, that. Wait, so you're saying it's cultural? It could be. I mean, the fact that, listen, the fact that okay. white people play baseball and hockey, they're dominant in hockey and baseball. Would you agree on that? 
I don't really watch the sports, but I, okay, yeah, okay, I but guess. But more, okay, but they're more dominant. Okay, so uh, in, in the NFL, we can make the argument that why is there more white quarterbacks? And how come whenever there's a black quarterback, he gets pushed to the receiver position? So you see what I'm saying? It's, it's all about the better athlete. You know, th don't get me wrong. I think race can, can play a part in it, but I highly doubt it because these owners are white. And if you look at slavery, this is another institute where they make their money. So they're going to take the black pros prospect, a.k.a. the black slave, put him up and say, you know what? Uh, he's about 6'2", uh, 240 pounds sold. We're going to sell that nigger to Cleveland Browns for $40 million. That's his contract. Meanwhile, we're making billions because that's how the NBA works. We are white businessmen. We don't have to have the majority of whites to, to rule something to, to make money out, such as the, the South Africans in Africa, which are ruling the whole uh, con uh, the continent. So, and they're one percent. So I find that kind of funny. So I'm surprised yeah. you you didn't um, just give blacks credit as being athletically superior in those sports. I, I thought you would just be like, "Yep, yeah, they're superior." But you, you... no, no, no. Because again, you have to break it down. It's not just uh, uh, sometimes you have you know anybody can have the genetics, but the majority of people that have the best genetics is black. That's why we have the best melanin. Let me, let me ask That's... you though, real quick. What would you do about like NFL players, black NFL players who? sell out their people to rake in millions of dollars and their their nice fucking fat NFL salaries and I mean what do you think about those guys? You think they're sellouts? Do you think they should think, be punished, I think, I think, persecuted? I think, give, I think we can give a perfect example of Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a fucking sellout Uncle Tom. All right, let that sink in. One of the greatest basketball players of all time, one of my favorite uh, players growing up because he was in Space Jam. Michael Jordan is a sellout, and I'll tell you why. Because what the fuck does he do for black kids in black communities that are starving? Meanwhile, these kids are buying his fucking products. And then they're go going to these fucking, uh, uh, you know, uh, Nike stores for a midnight release. Then they're getting robbed and shot because of some fucking Jordans that were fucking made in China for like five dollars so my point is is that michael jordan is not stepping up for the community he's not saying anything and saying you know what we're going to stop this we're going to give free shoes out to everyone blah 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 we're going to get money out meanwhile you have lebron james donating millions of dollars in in uh uh, uh educational funds or a uh, scholarship uh for, for kids so what i say to these fucking coons and these uncle toms is let black people deal with them because like i said white people have dealt with, they love to to play the the judge jury and the and the and the um executioner um, people must deal with their with their own in order to to fully uh, feel like that we have the abilities to, to to like I said like you said if black people are gonna do something for themselves uh, shouldn't they be responsible and we should be responsible so let me be respond let us be responsible for our own people but that's that's just my closing statement man uh, appreciate you for coming on um, if you have any more questions and stuff just feel free to Skype me and stuff and I'll keep you on here and uh, yeah I'll let you go. All right, Minnesota boy. Nice talking to you, man. Um, I'll probably upload this soon. I can only upload it in 15-minute chunks because YouTube put a 15-minute time limit on my channel. But uh, all right, well, yeah. it's it's gonna be on my channel. I'll probably upload this shit tomorrow. But you know, I, I haven't. I, I've been fucking busy as shit. So okay. yeah, I'm gonna fucking edit this shit. But anyways, all, all right, right, man. man. Talk to you. Yeah, good conversation, bro. Take care, bro. All right, man. Have a good one. Later. Bye.